um, the second experiment is that we're looking at uh, water pollutants. So we're testing for various water pollutants. To, all right, so the first thing that we're going to test for is phosphate, phosphate ions. All right, so I have here my water sample, okay? And if you go to your notes um, on water, the test for phosphate, well, the test for phosphate involves the use of nitric acid and ammonium molybdate. So I have my nitric acid here, and it says on my method that I am to add a few drops of nitric acid. So we're at, we're add some nitric acid. All right, and then it says. Two drops of molybdate as well. Add some molybdate. And we're going to allow this to boil up for almost two minutes. If you look at it carefully, you're starting to see a kind of yellow tinge to it. I'm going to put it in the water bath for it to boil. Make sure that it's covered. All right, so you see the yellow color is increasing as it liquid starts to, the water starts to boil up and heat up the solution on the inside. All right, so the next test that I'm going to do it on the water sample while we wait on um, the first experiment to boil up, I'm going to do the test for lead. I'm going to share this water solution, test water solution in two. Alright, so I'm going to put this one down here. So I'm going to test one solution with uh, potassium chromate solution. So I'm going to add a potassium chromate. Ooh, that came out. If you look at that carefully, you can see a yellow precipitate on the sides bright yellow precipitate there indicating the presence of you know what all right i'm going to test the other water solution this time i'm going to use potassium iodide potassium iodide there you go again bright yellow all right so then down you can see the yellow solids in the bottom, all right, orange solution on top, settling down, and soon the lead will settle down too, there you go, you can see the yellow solid, yellow precipitate on the bottom as well. Those are the tests for lead. Right, so I've taken out um, the solution out of the boiling tube for the first experiment, uh, the test for phosphate with molybdate, and we're going to just put it in the test tube holder and allow it to cool, and then look at it later. You can see that it's the yellow color has increased in intensity. Let's see what happens after a few minutes. All right, next I'm going to do the test for cyanide. And the test for cyanide. Um, requires iron 2 sulfate. So, first we're going to add some iron 2 sulfate. Iron 2 sulfate there. And then if you look carefully, you'll see a slight blue coloration, but it's very faint at the moment. Um, we're going to put it in the water bath to heat for a few minutes, and then we will add acid to it. So we'll put it in a water bath, and let's just see, watch that heat for a few minutes. All right, so for the first experiment with the molybdate, you can see the yellow solids forming on the sides there. 
at the top and down at the bottom there are some very fine yellow particles settling down there as well. Let's allow it to stand some more. Alright, let me take out the solution to test for cyanide. It's a very light blue at the moment. Let's just allow it to stand and cool for a couple of minutes. And then we will add our mineral acid. If you look very closely against a white background, you might see that it's a light tinge of blue, bluish green. Right. right, now in the meantime, while we wait on um, the cyanide test to cool, we're going to look at the test for nitrate. The test for nitrate, what we need, we need sodium hydroxide, we need aluminium, and we need red litmus paper. So we're going to start by adding a few drops of, alum, of sodium hydroxide to the water sample. Right there, and then it says we're going to warm the mixture, so we're going to put this in the water bath once more. All right, so I'm going to add the aluminium, so a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put this mixture to warm. Stop. All right, I'm trying to increase the speed of the reaction here by just heating it directly instead of using the water bath. So be careful that it doesn't come off. Now, the reaction is supposed to produce ammonia, which will cause the red litmus paper to turn blue. You can see that that's happening at the edges. All right. All right, let's try another mineral acid. Come from this, come from this side. Ah, there you go. Now this color here that you see is called Prussian blue. Prussian blue. So this is what you get when you test for a positive test for cyanide. Prussian blue. 